Good Saturday morning, everybody, from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Pardon the minor glitches that we seem to be having with our broadcast for this morning and with my hair for some odd reason. We're looking at a quiet start to the morning, but we are also seeing, again, a lot of activity going on into parts of the Mid-South today. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit. Temperatures, the main story for the Mid-South, much improved at this time. 70s for today, 50s, maybe even some 40s for later on tonight. We'll talk more about the complete forecast here as we look out across the area back into the mid 60s by the time we hit late this morning whereas yesterday we were into the 80s today we're barely even going to make the 70s in some parts of the mid south lower to mid 70s with plenty of sunshine across much of the area well below where we were the last couple of days temperatures some 10 to 20 degrees below that and just about normal for temperatures throughout the entire area for today we'll take a look at the almanac information coming up here in just a little bit but as for right now things are decently quiet across much of the Mid-South and will continue to be that way throughout the rest of the afternoon and into this evening. We're just seeing not much of anything out there in the way of major problems. Taking a look down from the Gulf Coast states and all the way back on up into around the area of South Carolina, which is where Matthew has been wandering its way across the Carolina coast. A lot going on here. Emergency services were suspended earlier this morning. Numerous tornado warnings going on and the storm continues to just crawl just off the coastline of the United States, well within the forecast map but unfortunately it has not made landfall just yet so technically the National Weather Service again seeing no landfall uh, information at this point which says that the storm has not made contact with the coast just yet and that means that again we have not had a hurricane strike for the United States for the last 4,002 days believe it or not here in the Mid-South area from the Metro Throughout the rest of the area, we have little in the way of showers or thunderstorms. Very dry conditions can continue across much of the area, and we're going to continue to see, again, the potential more problems out there. Ole Miss Union Campus looking pretty good. A little bit of construction and cleanup work going on this morning. Tons of sunshine available on the Heidelberg Elementary camera. Power Center Academy, no school in sight going on for this morning. Nobody at school this morning. A very dry parking lot. Olive Branch, Mississippi, tons of sunshine out there, and looking back towards Senator. Tobia, Mississippi. Very quiet this morning on Ranger 2015's webcam across the Mid-South so far into the almanac page. Our high temperature yesterday, we finally crossed back into the 90s, but it was so dry you probably didn't even notice that. Lower 90s for highs, lower 60s for low temperatures, decently above normal. Record high today, 95, set back in 2007. 36, the record low set back in 2000. Precipitation problems continue. We should have nearly an inch in the time of the month. We're not getting all that. We managed to wind up with two hundredths of an inch so far, which means the last several days have been dry with that minor exception. We've got a surplus of nearly a foot, but that's not helping us out at this time. That was gotten back into around February and March. For for October, we could definitely use some more as we're nearly, again, about an inch in the hole and could definitely use some more. Burn bans continuing across the Mid-South. Wildfire danger moderate or high level over the course of the next few days. Eight counties in Mississippi are included in the burn ban at this time and also again seeing Lee County in Arkansas added to the burn ban for in the News Channel 3 viewing area. Faulkner County is over into central parts of Arkansas. Also into the area, into and around eastern Arkansas and throughout the northern portions of Mississippi a red flag fire alert has been issued for the area so that is something again to remember if you're going to be doing anything outdoors with fire or flame this is the area that will stand the worst possibility of getting a wildfire going and continuing it across the area rest of the forecast pleasant dry but breezy temperatures in the mid to upper 60s to lower 70s for today winds continue through the peak heating time of this afternoon mid 70s for much of the area heading down into the 60s to lower 70s by news channel 3 at 6 by news channel 3 at 10 50s and 60s out there and by news channel 3 daybreak definitely getting into around the lower 40s in some locations and with that northeasterly breeze going to church or Sunday school tomorrow could be a little bit on the problematic side out there. Heading into the mid 70s for highs today, upper 70s as we get into tomorrow, which again is pretty much right about where we should be for this time of the year. Not doing too bad out there on those numbers. Close to normal, about 80 degrees or so as we get around Monday, and then warmer at least up until Thursday when a new storm system starts to make its way into the mid south. As that happens, we might see the possibility of some problems but only about a 10% coverage chance out there and that is going to be about it. It would be nice to get anything out there 
in the way of showers and thunderstorms spreading across the area. That just doesn't look like it's going to be happening anytime soon. So it's going to be very dry across the Mid-South throughout the next several days. The red flag warning continues in effect through today and into the evening at about 7 p.m. Again, we'll be watching that with a lot of interest, so stay tuned to News Channel 3 for updates on that. Astronomy, tomorrow night, Sunday evening. That's not Monday on there. Unfortunately, got the dates mixed up on that one. This is going to be, again, on the Kennan Observatory campus. That's going to be on the, or the oldest campus at Kennan Observatory. Free astronomy open house available to public, kids, and families out there. Uh, going to be taking a look at the moon, star clusters, nebulae, things like that. Weather permitting, a few clouds drifting on through, which is why we have the icon located right here around the partly cloudy area, so something to think about there. But that's tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. If you'd like to know more about Skywarn and getting ready for severe weather season number two, it's available from the National Weather Service coming up at numerous locations, including the new one at DeSoto County Emergency Operations Center in Nesbitt, Mississippi. That's going to be Monday the 24th, a week before Halloween at 6.30 p.m. If you'd like to know more about it there, check out my forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on the EAB Network, East Arkansas Broadcasters, Country 92.5, and Oldies 102.3. If you got shots of the Draconid Meteor Shower last night or sunrise this morning, definitely want to be able to check that out if at all possible. So a good opportunity to see your pictures on the air. Please forward them to me, and I would love to see them. You can send them along to Aonic underscore at WREG3. Great opportunity for you to practice some of your skills out there where it comes to the camera, and I would love to see them, and so would a lot of other people out there as well. So please pass those along if you are able to do so. Another check of your complete forecast will be coming up throughout the rest of today on WREG.com slash weather and also looking for quiet conditions into the Mid-South as we get into the rest of the weekend. But dry and dangerous for fires out there. Keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more on the Red Flag Fire Alert and we'll have more details on your complete forecast coming up a little bit later on News Channel 3. From the News Channel 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining me on the latest edition of News Channel 3 Video Weather Blog, Weather Overtime.